Hi, Duke Basie here at the Black Activities Book Launch Part 2, the biggest black history event in Europe, spearheaded by Andrew Lindo, the author of the Black History Activity books. There's so much going on here and there's also two big stages with adult performance, children performance, spoken word and serious speakers like Mandingo, M. Fudishi and Her Majesty the Queen of Democratic Congo, just to mention a few. This is a huge event, a massive event. Here we have the biggest African market in the whole of Europe. As you can see, this is a family event. I'm going to try and show you everything. I'm here with a nine-year-old named Dilan who he's going around asking people what did they think of the event. So sit back and watch this. Delano, what's your name? Kaya. Okay, Kaya. Do you have a Black History Activity book? Yeah. Okay. Um, are you enjoying the event so far? Um, I don't really know. Hi, my name's Delano. What's your name? My name's Ankat. Okay. Do you have a Black History Activity book? What did you say? Do you have a Black History Activity book? Yeah. Um, why are you at this event? Because my mum and dad have a stool and I knew my friends were going to come. Okay, um, are you enjoying the event? Yes, I am. Hello, my name is Delano. What's your name? Rowena. Okay, Rowena. Um, do you have a Black History Activity book? Yes, I do. Got a few here. <laughs> um, also, um, why are you at this event? Um, I'm come here to. <laughs> oh my gosh! I just come here to um, show my products that I have. I have another store around the corner and I'm also here to try to raise funds for the Milk River Family Foundation as well. So I'm doing quite a few things here today. Okay, are you enjoying the event? Yeah, it's going quite well so far. Thanks. Hello, my name is Delano. What's your name? My name is Tanya. Okay, Tanya. Um, do you have a Black History Activity book? Um, not yet, but on my way home, I should have one because my daughter is very much interested. Okay. Also, why are you at this event? I'm at this event to celebrate black history and our legends. And I'm also here to represent my brand, Africa's Pride. Okay. Are you enjoying the event? Yes, so far. It has been good so far.
Delano. What's your name? Respect Fire Bingy. Uh, why are you here? I'm performing today still. I'm performing over there. Uh, are you enjoying it so far? Yeah man, it's a very good event. I'm loving to see the people come out and loving to see, you know, you and your you you and Papa G moving together, you know what I'm saying? Loving the family vibe, the unification and, and, and mainly the business element behind it because I feel like people talk about Marcus Garvey, but there's no point in talking about Marcus Garvey if you haven't got a business mind. Because probably the main element of Marcus Garvey besides being for his people was that he was a very um let's say um very business academic he had a lot of financial literacy he understood business industries and how industries fund institutions that teach children like you how to build the next industries so that they can fund the next institutions so it's a cycle but and this is the representation of that so i come as a representation of the g grinders gang and we're about trying to show a lot of the youths that are um, from places which are violent, which are filled with crime, that they don't have to go down that road. They can invest in themselves, you know what I'm saying? They can set up their own business, like other people have done here. They can learn about branding, they can learn about marketing, and they can be successful, yeah? And don't let no one tell them any different. Okay. Yeah? Do you have a Black History Activity book? Yeah, I do. Okay. I mine still. And my daughters have got them as well. And my nieces and my nephews. All right. Are you enjoying the event? Yeah, my name's Naila. It's a great event. It's a bit noisy, but it's a great event. It's a great to see so many black businesses, so many young people here. Are you running your own um, radio or TV company? What are you doing? Uh, I'm with my mum. Okay, so you're just interviewing all of the businesses here? Okay. It's about Marcus Garvey and Marcus Garvey always said that we should do for self, have our own businesses, build our own things. So I've written this book so that young people just like you can learn about everything that he did and the UNIA. Alright? Um, why are you at this event? Exactly that. I think it's important that young people get to learn about Marcus Garvey and the UNIA. Have you heard about him before? Yeah, there was a man that was outside that was uh, talking about him. Exactly. So I want to make sure as many young people as possible get this. So I wrote this book and I want to make sure it spread the word across Birmingham, London, Manchester. Yeah, and also to meet other black businesses who are doing things for themselves. Okay, do you have a Black History Activity book? Do I have one? I do, yeah. Are you selling them? No, 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 to me the event went, it went very, very successfully. I'm very happy with the turnout. I'm, I'm very happy with the space that people had to manoeuvre. Last year was very tight. So the, the venue was probably about three times smaller than this venue. So it was a lot more compact. But people was able to um, move freely. We had so much better things on. We had um, the Queen, uh, Queen of Congo here which was amazing for the young people to see a, black, a real black queen. Um, we gave her a grand entrance with the drummers. Fire breathers. So firstly, I would like to say a big, huge, massive thank you for everyone who came through today, showed support and brought the energy because this energy here 
wasn't my energy alone this was a collective energy so much people today stopped me and says the vibe in here was good and it was good last year we um i said something to the novice i said we didn't sage the building and he said something to me which was very profound and what he said was we are the sage and i think when we come together collectively with the right attitude and the right energy we can clear out any sort of energy and bring a good energy into it so i'd like to thank everyone for bringing their energy and that positiveness here and creating the vibe that we had today because i feel like it's powerful for all the children that came here today to see this they see black excellence they see people doing a multitude of different um crafts businesses we had funeral directors in there we had tutors we had accountants tattoo artists we had a plethora of different things and it, it shows young people that they don't have to be pigeonholed into what society tells them they should be but they can be creative and be and become the master of their own shift so i'd like to thank everybody for showing the young people that they are great and they can achieve anything they wish and for anyone that didn't come you surely missed out so if you see in any of this footage you, you look out for us you follow us on any platform possible to know when we're doing events again because we, we need to build we need to and we can only build is when we galvanize the the the, the, the people and we come together and, and that energy that we take we project it into something positive that can build and i don't think i'll make the changes that the world needs but maybe i may inspire someone who may inspire someone that in, that makes the changes that we need were out in full force with so much original product it was very very impressive i mean this man here was teaching me about fabric made out of tree bark this is fabric made out of tree bark i've got this as well this is a kuba kuba cloth we call it kuba kuba cloth uh kingdom of kuba so it's made by the skin of tree everything done by hand yeah the tree skin and then they mash it to create it and make it like a uh, cotton but it's not a cotton it's a tree it's a tree skin of tree it's called kuba cloth you can't they don't make it anywhere else in the world apart from this tribe and then the secret they keep it to themselves up to now it's a hundred thousand years techniques and they still use it up today it's passed on by generations the knowledge Hello, my name is Delano. What's your name? I am Naptali. Okay, uh, why are you here? Well, I'm here to sell some exotic fruits, um, roots and juice from the tropics. Do you have a Black History Activity book? Um, no, no, I haven't received one as yet, but I would really like to have one. It looks very interesting. Okay. Um, are you enjoying it here so far? Yes, I am having a, a great time. I'm seeing 
beautiful people, we're hearing good music, and I'm speaking to a very intelligent youth. Hello, my name's Delana. What's your name? It's Michelle Hemmings. And how are you? I'm good, thank you. Do you have a Black History Activity book? Have I got one? Yes, I have, thank you. And also, why are you at this event? Why am I? I'm Michelle Hemmings and I had a lung transplant last year. So I'm here to promote organ donation and be part of the Black History Month as well. Okay, are you enjoying the event? Am I enjoying it? Yes, I am. It's fantastic. My name is Delano. What's your name? My name is Paul. Okay, Paul. Do you have a Black History Activity book? Uh, yes, I do. I've got quite a few of them because I've taken some to give to people at work. Um, um, are you enjoying the event? Yes, very much. Um, it's the second time we've actually done this. Last year we was at the, um, the H Suite and that was a smaller venue, but obviously today we've got a, a bigger venue and it's bringing brought a lot more people out and a lot more exhibitors as well. Okay, um, why are you at this event? Um, mainly to help uh, promote um, black businesses, um, promote ourselves, which is uh, Just Essentials. We're from over in, um, in Highgate. So it's just really to support black businesses and to bring it to the fore. Uh, my name is Delano, what's your name? My name is Chanel Taylor and I'm working with the NHSBT today. Um, okay Chanel Taylor, do you have a black history activity book? I don't. Care to give me one or share what the activity book is all about? Um, you can, if you want, you can get these books over at the front entrance at the front desk. Why are you at this event? So I'm at this event today because I am recruiting for more black blood donors. Being a sickle cell sufferer myself, we need black blood donors to be regular donors so that we can meet the supply and demand that we need. I suffer from sickle cell disease, which is predominantly a black disease. And we need more of people that look like me to donate blood. Okay, are you enjoying the event so far? I'm enjoying the event so far. It's good to see so many different vendors, so many different young people. There's a lot of stalls and there's just a lot of culture around today. Hello, my name is Delano. What's your name? Adele. Okay, Adele. Do you have a Black History Activity book? Yeah. Um, why are you at this event? We want to market our business, showcase our business and help support and build our community. Uh, are you enjoying this event so far? Sorry? Are you enjoying this event so far? Definitely, it's exciting, it's really, really good. It's nice to see so much business is going on today, it's really good. Did you make these juices? My husband makes them. Okay. Do you want to try them? Um, no, thank you. I, you don't, sure? I don't like a lot of stuff. You don't like a lot of stuff? This is a place where you should try them. It's got health benefits and it's really good for you. But I, uh, later I can ask my mum to come because she okay. likes... Hello, my name is Delano. What's your name? My name is Fola. Okay, Fola. Do you have a Black History Activity book? No, I don't. But I have the one on the that we were sent. Pardon? We, I do have the one we were sent via email. The book via email. Okay. The Why scale of the place event? was enormous. I'm it was very event, difficult trying to get from one event, stage to the other, so especially with the nice crowd of people. But in the background, nice I could hear on one of the stages the voice of Mandingo. Mandingo is a Garveyite who's been spreading the words of Marcos Garvey everywhere he goes. So we're just heading off to the main stage where he's on stage right now. Marcos Garvey Jr. was my physics teacher and friend at Kingston Technical High School, Hanover Street, in central Kingston, Jamaica, in the 1960s. And in 1968, whilst I was still is physics student at Kingston Technical High School. He and I, Elder Cyril Stewart, Brother Newman, Brother Thomas and others, founded a political party in Jamaica based off his father's political party, the People's Political Party in 1929. But we called our party the African Nationalist Union, ANU. And we had a paper known as The Black Man, which was a continuation 
of one of Marcus Garvey's papers. And it was there that I wrote my first political article, African Unity in the Caribbean. So I have been involved as a Pan-Africanist from my teenage days in Jamaica whilst going to school. And the PNP and JLP parties in Jamaica have always attacked Pan-Africanism. Don't mind that you have seen that Marcus Garvey is accredited as the national hero of Jamaica, the first one in 1964. The PNP and GLP have only paid lip service to Marcus Messiah Garvey. What I am most pleased about with regards to today's event is that it shows that the foundation that Marcus Garvey, Malcolm X, Queen Nzinga, Queen Mother, Nana from Jamaica. Notice I didn't say nanny. Nanny is an English word for a governess. Nana, that's her African name. And the many other of our ancestors who laid the foundations in giving us collectively as Africans to have an event like this. The cornerstone of Marcus Garvey's Black Print Solution for African people is self-reliance. This second event, because last year 2018 was the first, shows the continuation of the black history activity work that our younger brother, Andrew Lindo, aided and assisted by brothers and sisters. And I must make mention of my brother, Duke Basie, who made this possible for me to be here. Me, myself and Duke Basie and my brother Michael in Ghana where we started on a documentary and um, what we was going to do around the um, the books so we went to uh, film the Ashanti and, and find out where Nani came from and we found out about Yar Santiwa and uh, we were there for two weeks it was an emotional journey we went there as three men that knew each other and came back with a band that made us young brothers because we all experienced something that not many people are fortunate enough to experience so you know that is that in itself to me was it was worth more than money and what came from it was a change in all of us not just mentally but spiritually and emotionally <laughs> You know, we were there to bond as men, we went through we went through what we went through and now we've come out, we've used we utilized that energy, we, we we was able to release some of the emotional baggage that we've carried on from maybe our ancestors or our parents and now we was able to bring in a new energy and a new empowerment into our life. Yeah man, cause these are the biggest black history event in the whole of the UK and Europe. I'm gonna tell you so. Yeah man, I do good. You know what I mean? Cause first year it wasn't this big, and it get bigger and bigger. So next year it it go bigger than this, and it just show the UK is uh, burning strong. It's still burning strong. You know what I'm saying? So low down on London have to step up, you know. You know, see, it. that's that we are saying. Yeah, one love, one joy, Rastafari. <laughs> Hello, my name is Delaney. What's your name? My name is Mr. Riggs, Terry Riggs from Black Eyes TV 7. 
I have a YouTube channel and I'm, I'm part of Manhood Academy. So we, we, we raise boys to doing rites of passage. Um, why are you at this event? Why am I at this event? For people like you. So that we can able to help and grow and put them through the rites of passage and able to make them see, like the Queen of Congo, that she's coming today and to see the expansion and what Andrew is trying to do for the general public. This is why we have to learn our history. Okay, um, do you have a Black History Activity book? I've got loads of them, I've seen them and I believe in them and it's all about this Black Activity um, book launch today that is phenomenal, it's massive, we've got loads of people coming together, it's all about unity and love. Yeah, thank you. What's your name? My name is Shay. Dion, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Uh, do you guys have a Black History activity book? No, we haven't yet. But yeah, no, we haven't you can, around, you can have, you can get them at the front desk at the main entrance. Um, and why are you at this event? Say that again. Why are you at this event? We're at the event to promote our new book, which is Vacation Lodge 1 and Vacation Lodge 2. Okay, um, are you enjoying the event so far? Loving it. It's a really nice vibe, positive people, positive vibes everywhere. Excellent. It's a, it's a very good event, very well attended. It needs to be for the weekend, not just for Saturday. Not, it, needs to be Friday, it needs to be Saturday and Sunday. Hello, my name is Lana, what's your name? My name is Rowan. Okay, do you have a Black History Activity book? Um, yes. Why are you at this event? Um, I was doing some singing for this event for my school. Um, are you enjoying it so far? Yeah. Hello, my name is Delano. What's your name? My name is Leah. Okay, Leah. Do you have a Black History Activity book? Yes, I do. Um, why are you at this event? Because, um, Andrew is a friend of ours and we love the work that he's doing we love the events that he puts on and we love coming to spend time with other black business owners okay are you enjoying the event so far yes i have it's been very good well i think it has been a fantastic day uh taking into consideration i had no knowledge that the the, 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 um, the venue this, <coughs> the, the, this was on today it was through can prostate cancer that I have been involved elsewhere with someone from Soli Hall who asked me if I could come here today to support them. So I was able to spread the message amongst our men and women that it's important to have themselves checked. We're not asking them to have this or that treatment, whatever, been, but early detection, save lives and, and, and bring uh, a, a better well-being in the family. And Again, I walk around and there were so many happy, smiling faces. It's lovely. Um, I like the whole experience, seeing young people running businesses and stuff. But yeah. The variety of black businesses. I love seeing all the black people. Mm -hmm. Black excellency, basically. Yeah, and the vibe. Yeah, the vibe, the vibe is, is lovely out here. I love it. And yeah, options, nice. the products, there's yeah. so much. I bought so Yeah, many we've things. got so much that so we had to go and put stuff in the car and come back. Yeah, so it's been good. It's been good. Have you got yes. Yes. yes! We're saving up all throughout the year yeah, so, so we can, can come here and spend splash. money. Yes. Is it? Oh, okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you. But without further ado, we're going to bring up Nana Yao. He's going to open the program with a traditional uh, libation, affirmation of our ancestors and the creator. And um, Nana Yao is going to give you a few words. I think you should explain how important libation is to the audience. Let me break it down like this. You pray. So this is prayer. That's it. We pray to our ancestors. We pray to our God. Our God who looks like us, who speaks like us, who behaves like us. Yes, our God never go against us. That's why we're still alive. That's why we are doing this wonderful and powerful, magnificent gathering. So put your spirits together and let's call our ancestors, even though they were here before our camp. So I'm going to pray. And when I say, you can say Ashe 
Oh yo. Osuru ni asase ya. Ensio ni o. Ye chire wunsio nana. Nana no ye chire munsio. Abusun papa ye chire munsio. Ensio ni o. Munyi nsio nom. Efise moka ye ho. Woniama ya ye nyina mu, woniama ya ye nyina mu, woniama ya kom nyina mu. Akundi ya ya kom. Abrabo aye bo. Basically said was, may the ancestors help us in our journeys, in our in efforts, in all our deeds that are for the good of our people and the good of the planet. So whatever we are about, they are assisting us even at the moment. And he also is sent a warning to those that look like us, that look like us, that betray us. And he definitely sent a warning to those that don't look like us as a warning to what, who are they dealing with and what they are doing. We could hear a lot of shouting and screaming and excitement going on at the other stage. So we find it very difficult trying to get through the crowd again back to the other stage only to find out that this guy on the stage dancing is nearly 70 and he's partying hard. This day was a wonderful day to quote Muta. Because Muta, I know this man. Because this man put up all of the things. Where we are listening to Muta from all along, Bob. Nobody can tell me I'm lying. Bob, from when we are listening to Muta. Over a couple decades. Over a couple decades now. Over a couple decades. I don't know we left out of the year. But give thanks to the BSC and the works. Cutting edge, stepping razor. So and I say we are Italy. I can say yeah, one and two comment. But I don't want to go and keep it silent still cause we're up on some silent revolution right now. I want the silence can wake them up. It sounds strange, but that's how it goes. <laughs> see for you, so I give thanks to see this black history book launch kids activity where even you know it universal cause that only things for children but the family, don't it? and the nation, don't it? Yes. So, it's a real eyelaful thing, as I would have said. It's an eyelaful event, yeah? And it's really hopeful, we say, all of the ones them, that uh, make it possible, don't it? So, we have to say, give thanks to the one who everybody don't see, but make it possible. And give thanks to the Duke Basic, and we say, we're in Italy, and find out about this thing, and say, well, my son have to come know, and my wife have to come know these things, because you now find them in Italy, so. Give thanks to me, say. Hello, my name is Delanda. What's your name? My name is Sister Ayo. Um, you have a Black History Activity book? I haven't been given one as yet. You can I'm get them the over one. there. I'd I'd to go and get it. That's not fair. <laughs> um, why are you at this event? I'm at this event because I'm trying to let everyone that attend these events have a look at what Africa has for all of us. Um, are you enjoying the event so far? So far, it's been hard work. Once I've got all my stuff out, then I can relax. Okay. Lots of people are here and you can get new stuff. Yeah, I like that. I've got a new top by the way. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's good man. I like it. What did you like about today? Uh, people. What about them? Just, just like crow. Yeah. My day's been amazing. Um, it's been beautiful to see so many different kinds of stalls this time. Like, especially a lot with the kids, the books, 
Um, you know, the Black History activity books are fantastic. I'm really pleased with the people that they've covered. Um, yeah, it's been a great event, and I think overall, it's gone really, really, really well. Really, really brilliantly. Loved it. Hello, my name's Delana. What's your name? My name's Kenya. Okay, Kenya, do you have a Black History activity book? Yes, I do. Okay, um, why are you at this event? Pardon? Why are you at this event? Because there's a lot of other amazing people here and I want to support them as well. Okay, um, are you enjoying the event so far? Yeah, I am. Okay. Without further ado, I'm going to bring up Elder Manu, who is going to capstone that ancestors that we just called. Thank you, Manu. Would you like me to hold the mic? Hold yes, the yes, yes. Thank you, my brothers. Thank you, my sister. I want to make a little contribution to the ancestral spirit that is moving through our people currently at this juncture in history. I am from Jamaica. I was born in a small village. And in my village, I'll say this, no one dies before 100. Now, that is something that we've got to contrast with what we see around us today. But one of the things I learned from my elders, and I was a small boy when I came into United Kingdom, at the feet of my grandfather, they rise when the sun rises in the heavens. And my grandfather's first action was to enter into prayer. And that was followed or preceded by libation. And it was a simple act. He had his green tea. Green tea, you know, is one of the great cleansers. And before anything went here, it went there. It had to go there as a sacrifice to the Most High. He gave thanks for what he's about to receive. It has come from the heavens, it has come from his fathers, and he had to give thanks for that. So I've grown up with a simple idea of holding and keeping my libation, of making a simple sacrifice. Here I am. And we are in motherland Africa together as recently as March this year. And I go to the fortresses that they have dotted around Ghana. Some 80% of all these dungeons, all these concentration camps are in Ghana. So it says something about us here in the Caribbean. Our ancestral line is from that particular area of Ghana. And I go around one of these concentration camps. Why? I do 360 degrees around the concentration camp. And these are my words. I have returned. I have returned. I have returned. I have returned. And at the end of the 360 degrees, I say, now you can return. You can return. You can return. So what am I saying? My ancestors who came through the door of no return. Their last wish was for us to return. That they, when they travailed across the Atlantic, would survive long enough so that our, their children would return and release them. <laughs> Just call me African roots. Please call me African roots. Just call me African roots. I was born and raised in the ghetto with the blood of African roots. So you can always call me, call me African roots. Just call me African roots. Just call me. Please call me African Goose Just call me African Goose We've been taken away from Africa More than 500 years ago But one thing they didn't take Is the roots out of my mind So call me African Goose 
me African roots. Just call me African roots. Just call me African roots. Please call me African roots. Just call me African roots. Hello, my name is Delane. What's your name? Hello, my name is Caroline and I'm one of the co-founder of Lee Carla's Natural Skincare Products. Okay, Caroline, do you have a Black History Activity book? Yes, I do. I've got one in my bag. Okay. Why are you at this event? Oh, I'm at this event. As you can see, it says Black History. And today is the 5th day of October and this is Black History Month. So we're here showcasing our merchandise meeting other like-minded professionals like ourselves, entrepreneurs, and we are networking as well. Okay, are you enjoying the event so far? So far, so good. So far, so good. Um, did you make these yourself? Yes, we do. I've got my husband over here, my other business partner. Okay. Hello. Thank you. Hello. Are you enjoying the event? Yes, I am enjoying the event. Superb. Hello, my name is Delano. What's your name? Your name is what? Sorry? My name's Delano. Oh, my name's Andrew Delano. Nice to meet you. Okay, Andrew. Do you have a Black History Activity book? I do have, yes. Okay, and why are you at this event? I'm at this event because I'm encouraged and I like the way we're trying to bring black history together and socialise and commune and share our brands with each other. I just think it's a positive step. Okay, um, are you enjoying the event so far? No, because I haven't sold anything yet. No, I'm only joking. Yes, I'm enjoying the event. I'm enjoying the event. It's just started for me. I've just arrived about 20 minutes ago. Um, what's your name? My name is Faye. Okay, Faye, do you have a Black History Activity book? I haven't. Um, you can get them at the front desk at their main entrance. Okay, when my friend comes back and she watches my store, I'll go around and get one. Okay. Uh, are you enjoying the show? Yes. Um, why are you at this event? Well, uh, I'm at this event because I wanted to sell people to try my cakes, sell some cakes, and also uh, all the people that were coming over from Africa and uh, from Jamaica and everywhere. I want. I found it so interesting. So even though I'm here selling, I'm listening to the speakers right there because it's all up here. Okay. Are you enjoying the event so far? Yes, I am. I am. I really want to run around and, and have a good time, but I am have to stay here. Okay. Would you like a cake? No, thank you. I don't like cakes. You don't, never. You don't like cakes? Really? Okay. All right then, but if ever you change your mind, you know where to find me, okay? London Massive. This is your brother Red Pill reporting live and direct. Look. Take full advantage of your opportunity to embrace the future by its horns and ride that shit. Everything that you need is at your hands right now. Keep building the bridges into the African continent. Keep building bridges into the rest of Europe. This is your land, Europa. You are the Grimaldis. You are the, Al, uh, the Almoravid dynasty. You are the Moors. You are all of these things. So be in your proper Pisania, walk with your head up and make these people acknowledge you for your greatness. You don't gotta apologize for your greatness. You don't gotta come here and act subservient or be subservient or bow down to anybody. They owe you an explanation and an apology. You know what I'm talking about? With that being said, salute, activate. Peace, love, and light, brother Blue, Port live and direct to you. We are here at the Black History Month UK, USA to UK Connection, second annual blowout. I had no idea. I'm telling you, I had no idea. I literally want to build what they had in Thor, the Rainbow Bridge, right? We need to get Idris Albis to reprise his role, and we need to build that bridge from the USA to the UK and bring the family over here because if we can strengthen our bond, then we can build a unilateral bridge 
to the motherland. And then you build a bridge up, you know what I'm saying? So we could tap into our celestial powers once the, 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 the ancestors in the galaxy see us finally doing what seemingly is being separated just by geography, by a body of water. And we are supposed to be seafaring people. We supposed to be the people that took to the seas and explored all seven seas and yet we're allowing bodies of water, the same bodies of water that they said that they brought us over from one place to another. We haven't returned from that place back to the motherland or to the UK. We know that the Moors was here. We know what this thing is about. I'm not thrown off by, you know, these Europeans in these castles and these, you know, sitting on these objective thrones. We know what time it is, right? And when you come here, you see with a real rhythm, you see with a real family, you see with the real battery of the United Kingdom is, and it's these beautiful melanated people here. I haven't seen melanated people do African like this in a long time. I, they don't even do Africa, African in Africa like this to this degree, you know? And no disrespect to the continent, I'm just saying, we have something to offer them and they definitely have something to offer us. You know what I mean? So 2020 needs to be about the unification protocol. We need to bring a contingency of quote unquote black Americans over here. And either the family from the continent needs to come as well or we need to all get together and go over there. But let's get this coalition conference connection going. Like what is separating us? Look at the beauty here. This don't need to be police. This don't need to be regulated. You don't need none of that here. And I see it everywhere I go on the planet where it's melanated people with culture celebrating themselves. They're self-police. They they're, they're behaving themselves. It's beautiful. There's commerce being done. Everything that you dream about, that you say that you want, is at the grist, the very grip of your fingertips. What you waiting on? Peace. The African continent Be the African people Be the African continent Africa Is the black man's We traveled from Bahia, where we experienced, me and Macy experienced some things that I never thought I'd experience in my life. So what we, what we would know as Obia, we was immersed in a Brazilian form of what they call contemple, and that was a real eye-opener as well and an experience. So this year has been nothing but a journey of self-discovery, um, self-development and enlightenment. We, 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 we went to, I would always dream to go to Brazil Carnival. We, we, we went to Carnival nearly every night. We was on the floats, we went up and down. It was an amazing experience. We met so much beautiful people with a good spirit and good energy. We left, went from there and went to Minas Gerais. From there we went to Sao Paulo and then from there we went to Rio and back home. It was a experience and a half. Um, after that, I went back to the States to promote the books. Um, I went there twice and then I was out. I went to New Orleans, which, you know, their culture is so rich. They know so much about their history and the, the energy there. It's, um, it's a thing that you have to experience because of Katrina. We don't realize that they still suffer from the aftermath of that. Um, and to go there and experience that energy is very real. Because we always look at America as this third, this, this um, third world, not third world country, this first world country. But I saw the third world side of America. 
I saw how archaic and, and backwards some of it is. So um, that was a real eye-opener and experience for me. And then from there, um, I, I was back home. Um, went to, then we went back to um, America after that. We did African um, Art Festival. We did a Dunde. We did a few festivals. And it's, it's been a very emotional, <coughs> excuse me, and a hard struggle. I've had ups, I've had downs. There's been tears, there's been heartache. But above all, there's been an immense amount of strength that's been given to me and, and that's come from this whole experience. You know, so I'm very thankful for this, this, this year. I can't even believe all of this happened in one year. And then to top it off, we have an event like this. Hello, my name is Delane. What's your name? Um, I'm, I'm Shana. How are you, Delane? Good. Um, are you enjoying the event? I'm, I'm really enjoying the event. It's, there's a lot of good energy here. There's so many wonderful, wonderful people that have come to showcase their gifts. I can't wait till I see what, what, what the event, the rest of the event. I'm really excited. Uh, why are you at this event? Why? Because I would like to be a part of what's to come. And I would like my son to also learn where he comes from and that his people are great. I'm loving the event. I'm very excited. I can't wait to hear the Queen speak. I'm so excited about this whole event. Oh, it's been absolutely fantastic. I've not been to something like this before and I have to say I am so taken aback. The youths, proper entrepreneurs you have to big them up and everybody hails here it's just been absolutely fantastic I have to say I will definitely be coming again and we need more of this so we need your support we'll come together and put your money together so that we can develop ourselves all right that young man he's done really well I'm proud of him I don't even know him but you know he's done well Andrew has done fantastic yeah, he's done a good job and we will be back it's been a wonderful day it's been amazing um, so much uh, so much talent, so much skills, you know, they say that black people can't do business, but hey, we've got, how many businesses are here? Like over 100, 200 businesses, you know, doing from health products to, you know, clothing, jewellery, conscientious, offering different services, so it just makes me feel proud that, you know, that we've got a lot of um, organisations out there doing for our community and doing for themselves, and we've got to just encourage um, more, um, we have to encourage more um, buying and keeping it to ourselves, learning from each other, teaching each other and um, more things so you know we can learn from each other. Yeah, this has been amazing event, thank you. I'm Hotep, Ank Oja Seneb Neb, Duadenta. I am in Fundishi Chihutimas Ka in Haru Hassan Salim. It is a pleasure to be here in Birmingham at this uh, black activity uh, fair for the Black History Month showing respect and homage to black people, showing that um, we are the ones we've been waiting for. And so there's lots of entrepreneurs here, and this is good because we need to see that we can do for ourselves, we can build for ourselves. So the spirit of entrepreneurship is alive here in Birmingham today. So uh, hopefully this will continue throughout the year. People understand that they can do for themselves. They can build for themselves. So that's important. Um, we are giving a tour tomorrow to the um, British Museum. And so I'll be taking people on the tour throughout the British Museum, showing the artifacts that were stolen by the British and uh, giving the true names and the history behind them. Uh, so hopefully some people who are listening to this will also uh, welcome to be on our tour. I've had a fantastic time here in the UK, connecting with the brothers and sisters here, showing that we are one, no matter where we are, as we move into this age of...
the victory as sweet than when you have to go through something hard and you get a reward and payment like this. Just seeing people talk about the event, how amazing it was, the young people seeing them happy, that is payment. One of the best payments I got today was when a, a woman came over and she told me she come from Italy for the event. You put the graft in you, you know. I just spoke to a woman. She says she come from Italy. I says, how did you hear about the event? She's gone. Oh, I watch a Muta Baruka. Duke Basie, the little boy was like, Duke Basie, it's Duke Basie. I'm gonna show you. <laughs> yeah, come here, because of you. Cause, so, you know what? Big up yourself, Duke Basie, because without you, none of these people would have been here because you've blocked it hard. This is the woman from Italy. Come to the stage at home. Yeah, this is the lady from Italy. How are you doing? You on the stage. Forget this interview. We got to go. Come on, brother. Come on up. Come on up. Yes. What you got to say to the people? Andrew P. Lindo, my little brother. What you got to say? I'd like to say thank you for everyone that came out. Um, today's been an amazing day. Uh, I couldn't have done it without the support of everyone that came out. Um, and people that promoted the event. So everyone that promoted the event. Um, I'd like to thank everyone out there that's still here for coming out. Um, it's been an amazing day. God willing, we'll be back next year with wonderful people like the Queen, Queen Diambi, um, our good brother Nova, Duke Basie, content over everything, our brother Red Pill and Blue Pill that come all the way from the States. So, you know, thanks to everyone that came out, Jatali, for sponsoring the event. Without, without our sponsors, this event would not happen. Uh, this is a non-funded event. Um, it's done through 90% of my energy alone to do this. I'm going to present the Queen, Queen Diambi. Give it up to Andrew Lindo. Give him some energy. Hold on, stay up there. Come on, let these people give you some praise. This is the man, this is the man right here that put on this program. This is the man that organized across oceans people to come here. He put this together for not himself, not his pockets, because I know he didn't make no money. Trust me. He put this on for his family here in Birmingham. This man is black people first, Birmingham second. This, this um, education is absolutely important. And we are hearing the drums and the African call and response in the background while we are talking. So everything is in, is in synchronization with, with, with what you are doing. What plan We're going to make more noise. Yo, le, le. Yo, le, le. Oh, scream.